Hi, I've been walking guys and uh, the whole time I thought my camera was running, it wasn't. <laughs> what a fool. Um, first thing I'd like to do is, is thank two people. I'd like to send a, a very, I'm very humbled, Solar Savage, Peanut, thank you, and to Susan Smith, I'm sending a special blessing your way. Um, I get a lot of emails. Who am I? Where did I come from? Why do I dress like this? Um, well, if you can't tell, I'm a indigenous to North America. I am called an American Indian from the Iroquois Nation. Well, there's six nations there. I'm from the one you would call Cherokee. However, I'm a real Cherokee. I walk in two worlds. The red world, which I prefer. It's a more natural and flowing world. And a western world. I was named Linda Little Bear by my uncle, but that is not my birth certificate name. Because you had to have some kind of really fancy name back then. But I was called Linda Little Bear my whole life because I asked too many questions. That was a sign that I wanted information. And they say a bear has knowledge. So I never made it to Linda Big Bear, but I am Linda Little Bear. I knew I would have to walk both sides of the aisle to bridge humanity. That was kind of beat into my head. Every day we prayed for humanity to unite against this fascist, corporate, tyr tyrannical world. I don't place value in religion, really color or anything like that. Whatever you believe is your personal belief, just like what I believe you probably would think is scary to you. Um, so be it. I'm still a human being. Um, I'm going to ask something of all of you. And um, I'm going to answer a couple questions. No, Indians don't get a lot of money from casinos. Um, just go look up what, why casinos were started. Started with the Seminoles trying to do a bingo hall. I think the Mohawks in Canada. The First Nation Mohawks in Canada tried to do one too. It didn't go so well. They did the Indian Gaming Act. A lot of people from Israel came in. Started developing casinos. The corporate engines. The sellouts are the only ones who get money. The people on the reservation don't get money. So please quit sending me emails saying I'm rich. I don't live on a reservation, number one. Um, there's a lot of us that were told to get off, to go out, and to try to live in both worlds peacefully, bridge humanity, and stop this shit that's happening. And there's a lot of things happening, but there's a lot of things happening because I walk in two different worlds. It usually happens to the indigenous people first. And um, I've known this was coming. I just didn't know when. And I received an email today that the Red Nations are painting on their paint. They're painting their faces. Now I'm going to tell you what that means because it's out in the open now. They're painting on war paint. And you may say, what can an Indian nation do? Well, I'm going to tell you. They've been training for a lot of years to do a lot of damage, but not to regular individuals. And government, I don't know nothing, so you don't need to come knock on my door. I'm going to ask anyone who um, lives near a nation, if you see shit going down that you think is wrong, to join with any red nation there and step in. I would say over the next year there's going to be a lot of shit going down on uh, the nations in North America and even in First Nations in Canada. You Canadians need to step up and stand behind the Mohawks and the Mi'kmaqs and the others. Um, they're doing it for you because what happens to them happens to them first and then they come after you. Um, You've heard that saying, 
I guess they said about the Nazis first they came for the this person. Well, here in America, first they came for the indigenous. And uh, we're still here. They didn't think it would happen that way. And we're strong. But like I said, I walk both sides of the fence. And it's not a fence sitter. I'm there to try to join everybody. Because when there's one big battle going on, we need everybody to unite. Put differences aside and to do it. So I'm just asking you if you could look out for my brothers and sisters who are preparing themselves because they've had enough of the government, the dirty water, the uranium mining, the fracking, the raping of the women, the stealing of their children. They're done. There's not much more you can take from those people, but they're not broken. So I would just ask anybody if they see an injustice going on, stand with them. Now, on the other hand, I wish the Western world could unite like the tribal nations do. And I don't know how that's supposed to happen, but I believe we can set differences aside and somehow unite. Every neighbor should be talking to one another and I can't get my neighbor next door to look at me because they wear a cowboy hat and I have braids in my hair. Like, we're still in war or something? Come on. I mean, really, that's really how serious it is. Um, and they're not cowboys. They're not herding any cattle. They only have two horses. But because they have the cowboy boots on and a cowboy hat and I wear braids with roaches in them, that's what these are called. I must look like their enemy and I'm not and I've tried to tell them but I'm still a threat to them that's really funny to me but anyway I just thought I'd put that out there I was asked to do that um, so if any of you see an injustice please step up and help them they're human beings and uh, they have nothing left to lose and that's where you get to a point where when you have nothing left to lose You'll do anything. And uh, they're unarmed. So, just do whatever you can. I love all you guys. I know it wasn't really the walk for the revolution, but a revolution to Indians means coming full circle. And that doesn't mean killing white peoples. <laughs> We're very forgiving peoples. We hate nobody except tyranny. We think everyone should live in a natural world any way they want, as long as they don't harm other people or try to shove their beliefs down other people's way. We don't shove our beliefs down your throat. Um, and so that's all I like to say. I love all you guys. I just needed to put that message out there. I've walked a lot more than I thought it was. I rambled on really long this time too, but I think I probably did a 30 minute video before I realized um, the camera wasn't on. Um, but I love all you guys. And as I said, the Red Nations are painting their faces. I didn't think I'd see that day come. <laughs>